can trust me. Hoki, I've studied almost every moment of your entire life. You've literally stabbed people in the back like 50 times. Why never do it again? Where is your handler? You're already running late to the assignment. <sighs> Fine. Mobile Task Force Omega-2, codename Ratcatchers, is en route, finally. Oh, wow. <laughs> I mean, uh, well, uh, that bastard I killed my best here. friend. And you have a body pillow of it? Today's briefing is for mature audiences only, so if you're one of our younger cadets, go spend 10 minutes with SCP-131, and I'll see you in the next video. SCP-297, known as Steely Dan, is going viral on TikTok right now because a lot of people are shocked that we have an adult toy in the Anomalous Archives. Well, strap in, pun definitely intended, because that's not the only one. SCP-383, titled This, is an anomalous, how should I say, not good dragon. 3883 has two anomalous effects associated with it. The first is that, depending on what reflective surface you view it through, it appears to take on different forms. These forms range from itself with no alterations, to different sea creatures, to even a Cthulhu-like entity. The common thread seems to be tentacles. The second anomalous effect is that if someone goes into REM sleep near SCP-3883, they have a nightmare where they're attacked by a giant tentacled monster who terrorizes and destroys them. It doesn't harm them in the real world, though. It's still just a dream. We sent in a researcher who's skilled at lucid dreaming to interview the entity, and after the entity realized that the researcher wasn't going to be scared of it, it just gave up and gave an interview. The poor thing said that it's ashamed of what it is in real life, and so it scares people in their dreams as a kind of self-therapy. We're trying to requisition a weekly D class so it had someone to scare so it can feel better. This is where I work, giving human test subjects to an anomalous dildo for its self-esteem issues. I know containing stand users can be dangerous, but some, like this guy, are completely harmless. Unless he throws the ball at you, then look out. Oh, seven of you! Eight if you count the plushie. Well, let me say I do not regret pushing your brethren into the cat made waifu dimension, and you can't hurt me if you can't catch me! Hey Daniel, it's been a while. What you been up to these days? Yep. Same as always. Hey, what if pocket dimensions are actually incredibly common, uh, but whenever they pop up, there's this hidden group that just puts film equipment around it. Uh, so they're like, oh no, the street's going to be the 1950s for the next couple days. We should just put down some generators and cameras, and no one's going to think any different of it. In fact, they'll be kind of thrilled that it's happening. And, like, different realities and stuff can poke through, and... and then you could just have it centralized in certain cities like Georgia or Vancouver or Hollywood and the more I say this out loud that's what's happening isn't it did, did I figure something out Be I should probably not answer that oh you better answer it good morning good news Ohio is gone hold your Larry the loving llamas here Ohio is not gone they just seceded from our reality into their own pocket dimension just like three Portlands did but I've looked at their transcendence treaty this thing is full of holes loopholes holes in our understanding of language due to Lovecraftian dialects listen I'm gonna have this nullified and Ohio will be back by lunch don't you worry attention all site personnel we are currently looking for a new research head for the SCP redacted project now I understand your hesitancy. This is the fourth team lead to leave the project in three months after all. But I assure you, they underwent no emotional, mental, physical, metaphysical, or pataphysical harm during their tenure. They all left for the same identical reason. No me gusta. Oh, bread Jesus, just ignore the alien geometries. Oh jeez, Dr. Sherman, I don't like this. Oh? Well, I'm not the one who asked for Chicken McNuggets in a Lovecraft dimension, so now we're both unhappy. Fuck you, what's your name? Suction Cup Man! My ass, what's your name? da 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 Suction Cup Man, look at me go! Get off my goddamn tower this instant! I can't! Why the hell not? Can't go down, dumbass! I can only go up! What? I gotta reach the top and wrap back down! You can't just turn around? Of course I fucking can't! What are you, stupid? It can't be that hard! I don't see you climbing a fucking top with suction cups! Hey, it's a full moon this Easter, and you know what that means. Oh, damn it, he's right. There's gonna be a werewolf Jesus. Where are we supposed to put him? We already have too many Jesuses or Jesi or whatever. We can't put him with bread Jesus or Jesus because they're food. Could put him with vor Jesus, but I'm afraid of what might happen if they became friends. All right, Uber driver Jesus it is. 
Man, I hate this place sometimes. We don't like to leave anomalies out in public, but this lawnmower Kool-Aid manned itself out of the back of the containment van and mulched three agents when we tried to remove it. Turns out, as its catchy song suggests, it just really likes being at Le Chateau de Versailles. We told everyone it has a malfunctioning stereo function and to ignore it. I don't like the way my skin feels on my body. Fair. Do you like the way your skin feels on your body? <laughs> you can't have it. Fine, I'll check the back room speed, but nothing ever happens in there. Oh, wait, wait, come here. We have clear signs of habitation. We found a children's drawing and a balloon and a balloon. A banner that says, welcome back. So they speak English and they've been here for a while, it seems. A lot of children's party in that room, children's drawings here. No sign of the actual people though. Interesting. We have a bedroom. Oh, hello, tall, dark, and see-through. Could be where all those people went. At least he's not following D759. How is he gonna get up there? Oh, okay. Oh, the hallway's gone. Oh, he's trapped in the balls. Can you drown in those? Do we ever find that out from the Fazbear Entertainment test? Either way, I'm not fishing him out. I can reset this 13 second loop as many times as you need to get the materials to stop the moon from Majora's masking our asses, but I gotta be honest, my thumb's getting pretty tired. Would you kindly hurry the hell up? Here we go again. Kajita's wares, if you have coin. I need a maid dress and cat ears for that plague doctor. I welcome you, friend. Mike, you gotta stop with this jaywalking. I'm missing with that gay shit. What gay shit the law? I'd like to live one day without a major historical event happening. It's only technically, technically my fault. I will feed your kids to the child breaker, Richard. Researcher, my name is 053. Oh, shit. I'm here to review the after action report of your site director that details that you are responsible for the loss of eight mobile task forces, 332 D-class personnel, 573 researchers, one site administrator, 3,647 civilian casualties, the loss of an entire Keter class containment facility, and a potential SK class world ending scenario that required the mass deployment of amnestics to a 953 square kilometer area. But please, let's discuss this about a technicality. Barry, they're gonna eat you. When was the last time you ran full speed? The Foundation Fitness Initiative strongly suggests daily cardiovascular exercise for all Foundation staff members, because during a containment breach, the staff member who runs slowest doesn't come to work tomorrow, or ever again. Approach the entity. Don't ask questions, D-Class. Just get the jam! Thank you for listening. Site42 Studios and its staff are funded by viewers like you. Please become a patron or visit our merch store at the link in our bio to support our work. Secure. Contain. Protect.